Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to set up your Odyssey Penrose headset with Discord. So the first thing we're going to want to do after opening Discord is to go to the bottom left hand corner and click on the user settings button. After that, over on the left hand side we have the voice and video tab. We'll click on that and this shows us all of our audio options for Discord. My Odyssey Penrose is already set as my default input device for Windows, so I don't have to change that. And output and input volume generally can be left at 100%, unless, for example, you want your voice through Discord to be quieter than through another program. Now, below this, we have the input mode. Voice activity is generally the best setting to leave this on, unless you specifically want to use push to talk. Now, Discord, by default, will generally determine the input sensitivity automatically. This means that it will mute you when you're not speaking, and it will allow your audio through when you are speaking. Now, some people have found that the input sensitivity on Discord is not as good when working automatically. If that's the case, you're going to want to uncheck this box. Now, by default, Discord sets the input sensitivity to negative 60 dB. Since the Penrose microphone is quite sensitive, this setting should generally be fine. However, if you find that you need to have the Penrose microphone further away from your face, or you prefer to have it particularly close, you may want to change it. I found that at times, having the input sensitivity down near 80 dB has helped my voice come through a little bit better, especially when I'm using wireless mode, which doesn't have quite as much bandwidth as wired mode. So that's a setting which can help your Discord clarity be a little bit better, especially if your microphone seems to be cutting out a bit. You can test this very easily by clicking on the mic test button, and that allows you to see what your levels are and to hear yourself through your own microphone. So if the side tone seems to be good to you on the Penrose, you can then also test this on Discord to see how much uh, sound you are getting through the test button and compare the two. You should generally have your mic test sound pretty similar to the side tone. Once you've tested that and you're happy with how your voice is coming through, you should be good to go. Once you feel comfortable manually setting the input sensitivity, you can go on to explore some of Discord's more advanced features. So let's scroll down and see what we've got. The first one is the choice of an outboard noise suppression algorithm. So this is done by a company called Crisp. So it uses an AI to determine what is undesirable noise and filter it out. If you click on this option, you'll see that the noise reduction which is built into Discord is overridden by the Crisp noise suppression. Generally, I don't find I need to use the more advanced noise suppression, but it is a handy feature to have, especially if you happen to have particularly bad background noise. Sometimes I'll use this when the HVAC in my apartment is going, or when I have a fan or some sort of outside noise going on. Generally, with the Penrose mic, I don't find that I need it to suppress any of the inbuilt mic noise, since the inbuilt mic with Penrose is relatively quiet. You can also see we have the opportunity to turn on or off the echo cancellation, noise reduction, and automatic gain controls. Echo cancellation is useful if you have open back headphones or speakers, and you don't want to get any feedback into your microphone from those sources. Noise reduction, as we previously mentioned, is for filtering out outside noises. The automatic gain control automatically sets the level of your microphone input in Discord. I generally leave this on and have no problems with that. The Enable High Quality of Service Packet Priority is for if you have a particularly heavy load of internet usage and you want to ensure that your voice is getting through Discord at priority. Now down here, the attenuation is the amount by which Discord will lower other applications sounds when you speak or when others speak. Lowering an application sound when you speak might also be an effective tool to help you reduce feedback, especially if you're using speakers for your audio playback. When others speak, it's helpful to hear them when you're playing a game, and you don't want the game audio interfering with what they're saying. Generally, I don't use the top one, and I leave the bottom one on, but don't use it particularly often. Down here, you have a few other experimental and quality of life features, as well as a diagnostic audio recording feature. Generally, I don't find the need to use these, since most problems can be solved in hardware or in software settings at the very top. However, it is a useful feature just in case you happen to be having an unusual problem with your audio. Now that you're a Discord wizard, you should have no problems using your Odyssey Penrose headset to chat with your friends.